Canada often describes itself as a clean energy superpower with abundant renewable energy in the form of hydroelectricity. But Canada is a big place and many rural communities are not connected to the national energy grid. For hundreds of rural towns across the country, the only option has been to turn to diesel. Nowhere in Canada is this more of a problem than in Nunavut, the only territory that depends entirely on fossil fuels for their electricity. This is extremely expensive. The people of Nunavut pay electricity rates as much as 10 times the Canadian average. Taxpayers subsidize this with more than $36 million per year in payments to offset the cost of this dirty power, which pollutes, including with harmful greenhouse gas emissions that make climate change worse. This is not fair. This is not just. This has to change. Today, we are introducing Canada's next major infrastructure project to bring reliable, sustainable, clean energy to northern communities, and eventually throughout Canada. We call this project IceGrid. IceGrid is a method to easily deploy renewable electricity generation and provide inexpensive energy autonomy to off-grid communities. Here's how it works. First, wind energy is captured with turbines and converted to electricity. Because wind speeds are constantly changing, the electricity is stored in an array of batteries, protected in a warehouse from extreme cold. Finally, the stored energy is transmitted to homes and businesses reliably as needed. Over the past 15 years, renewable energy technology has been improving at a rapid pace, to the point where today it is now cheaper to use renewables like wind than fossil fuels like diesel to power communities. With this in mind, an ideal location to pilot IceGrid and demonstrate its capabilities is Iqaluit, the capital of Nunavut. To make IceGrid happen, there would be an initial upfront cost of construction, about $150 million to build wind turbines and $88 million to purchase and install the batteries. These are one-time costs, and the battery array would connect to Iqaluit's existing power lines. The savings for Iqaluit come from the operation and maintenance. IceGrid would require only about $2.3 million in annual operation and maintenance costs. Compare this with diesel, which between operation, maintenance and fuel, costs $30.4 million per year. About $33 million once a federally mandated carbon price is put in place. IceGrid would require no fuel at all. Given these numbers, IceGrid will have saved enough money to pay for the initial costs in about 8 years. By year 20, IceGrid will have saved a Calibut as much as $378 million, the equivalent of almost $49,000 per resident. The beauty of IceGrid is that it can be deployed in any community across the country, not just those in harsh climates. Because you can simply plug in extra batteries to increase capacity, the infrastructure can be easily scaled to fit local needs. And perhaps most critically, in none of it alone, there are 15 communities that suffer from aged infrastructure that must be replaced in the next five years. The time is now to make this transformational investment and replace expensive, unsustainable, dirty generators with proven, cheap, clean energy. IceGrid is not just a power plant. It's a transformation in the way we think about energy in Canada, and the benefits are wide ranging. Now, we've already discussed how replacing diesel with wind reduces the burden on taxpayers in a matter of years, eliminates greenhouse gases and other toxic emissions, and ends communities' reliance on external fuel sources. The result of these improvements will be local economies that are more sustainable, and this will enable improved growth and increased quality of life. Cleaner air and lower cost of living means these communities will be more attractive to new residents meaning more families, businesses, and amenities. The planning and development of ice grid infrastructure in multiple communities will create and sustain jobs in the renewable energy sector. This is a sector with global growth trajectory, and by scaling ice grid across our country, Canada will finally position itself as a true clean energy superpower. All of this will have begun in Nunavut, where its people will be leaders in global renewable energy expertise. Climate change is the most important policy issue of our time. Our economy is being shaped by it. Our people are feeling its effects. But one thing is for certain. The need for abundant, reliable, and climate-friendly energy will only grow. Further, we have to build Canada to be stronger than ever. And that means empowering our communities with the knowledge and technology necessary to generate their own renewable energy. <laughs>